cruel boy. And you are an old man and a fool! You're unworthy! Alright guys, welcome to the channel Vervito Awaken. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I have this clip here that I want you to look at because it says a lot about these elites and um, Hollywood and how they think of us, their plans and their agenda, right? They're not afraid to tell you what they're doing through all these movies, especially because they realize that majority of us are asleep. And that's a sad part of it because almost every movie that is coming out in modern time highlights their um, symbols their signs because that's the way how they communicate also the script I kid you not are literally biblical Father. And I'll take from you Okay, so we've got our first symbol here, the all-seeing eye. One-eye symbolism. It's predominant in these movies. You can see it everywhere. Your power! And I cast you out! Please, open your eyes. Oh, no, this is Earth, isn't it? Where did it come from? So what do you guys notice right off the bat? It's just like Satan. Just right. like Satan, right? He's having a conversation with, with his father in heaven. His father says, you're the, you're the vain, greedy, cruel boy who traded peace for war. Well, who's, who's the epitome of vain, greed, cruelty that literally traded peace for war? Yeah. Was cast down to earth in a bolt of lightning, right? Do you remember this story when Jesus was talking with the disciples and the disciples all came to him and they said, yes, we have power over the demons and we can cast them out, right? Do you remember that story? And Jesus goes, no, 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 don't, don't gloat at that. Don't be excited about that. Because he says in Luke 10, 18, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. That's why the devil's always described as this bolt of lightning, ACDC, bolt of lightning. You know, the devil's children always like, you know, kind of describe their um, occult through a bolt of lightning. It's because of this verse. And to prove that there's an agenda at play, why is this being incorporated everywhere? Not only in the movies, but the music videos, even the cartoons. Why are artists incorporated this thing on their skin it's an agenda they're telling you when thor ragnarok there is a very interesting scene once again we see some crazy parallels it's come to my attention that you don't know who i am to god jesus the bad guy in this case is thor's sister i am hella odin's firstborn commander of the legions of asgard now i want you to observe something right off the bat Look at her crown. It is literally in the design of a crown of thorns. Just to point out something here, even though he said it looks like thorns, right? But what if those are actually horns? Because remember Revelation speaks about the beast, right? That has 10 horns, right? Which represents 10 kingdoms, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think those are, are, are meant to be um, crown of thorns. <laughs> Whatever cave you crept out of, you evil demoness. And there's this scene where she is walking back into her throne room, Thor sitting on the throne. You can see this crown of thorns going back into her head. And she has this very interesting dialogue with Thor. Check this out. It seems our father's solution to every problem was to cover it up. Or to cast it out. I find it very interesting that she's literally saying our father's way of dealing with things is to just cover it up. And the fact that he said or to cast it out simply means that he agrees that he was the problem. <laughs> but see, that's what God does. God's atoning blood through Jesus Christ covers our sins. And listen to what Thor says. Or to cast it out. Uh, we already saw that he was the one cast out, which is a representation of Lucifer. I want to point something out right here. 
If you notice that the symbol in the ground where she is standing is the symbol of the Trinity, you see it on a lot of Bibles, uh, that was put here on purpose, not by mistake. And then, one day, he decided to become a benevolent king, to foster peace, to protect life. The fact that she's saying that her father, the one that cast Thor out, is a benevolent king and he wants to protect life and be peaceful, once again, is a description of God. Here's the difference between us. I'm Odin's firstborn, the rightful heir, the savior of Asgard. And you're nothing. The fact that she says she is the firstborn, the rightful heir to the throne, and the savior is once again another parallel to Jesus. So you see guys, you see exactly what I'm talking about? They aren't afraid to tell you their plans. They aren't afraid to mock our Lord and Savior because they know that majority of this world is asleep. And this is just a taste, right, of many movies that have this same script. The same script. So are you telling me that they can't be original? Come on, come on. As I said, I want to thank Little Light Studios, right? Go subscribe to their um, YouTube channel because they put out a lot of content like these and they break down a lot of these movies, which are really helpful. And I'm going to highlight a lot of them on my channel. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. Shalom, take care.